foot today. <laughs> All right. And Danny's, oh yeah, he's, he's here. Oh, there he is. So is Keith. And Vince, yeah. Hey. Oh, they're there. Great. Yes. Vince. Hello. Keith. Hi. As it gets colder and colder, I think you're everybody's gonna be hearing our um, heaters in the background and stuff. Mine is going. I, I couldn't help it anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you have a little space heater? No, the, the house heater, oh. it's an old house. So it takes up almost a whole room, this heater. Wow. <laughs> Downstairs, it's a huge machine. Uh -huh. So. I'm just freezing over here. <laughs> Are you at home? Yeah. <laughs> I am. Good. Oops. All right, what do you think? Um, we don't have anybody waiting. We should be good to go. I just need to pull up, which I forgot to do, <laughs> um, the document. I think I sent you guys something. You sent us an agenda and the topics. OK, good. Sorry, <laughs> it's been really rough last week. Oh so. yeah, no, don't worry. I I did. I was a poll worker. I was a co-inspector. Oh, cool. So, you know, I'm just waiting for the what's the hammer to drop because of you know I'm always thinking, do I have COVID? Do I have it yet? Oh, you know, yeah. I mean, like, it's scary. We're living in scary times. Yeah. But I'm okay. No, I was tested inconclusive for the first time and like, oh, shoot. but it was, I think it was a mistake because um, I had just gone from the dentist to um, the test and my mouth was like anesthesia, like, oh, I, was, yeah. I was just like drugged oh. up and yeah. I was like, you know what, might as well do my COVID test too, because it was during that time that it was scheduled and then they touched my nose. I couldn't even feel my nose. I was like, oh, that's nice though. Yeah, and then it was the first time in eight months that I test every month and it got inconclusive. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's yeah. scary. So I went back again Monday and it's what, Thursday and I haven't got my results. So that means most likely I, I, I'm good. Because last time it was quick. Like it was yeah. two days later. I was like, wait, what? I've never gotten that fast. You have to get tested for work. Is that? Yeah, every month. I mean, I, I think it's like a unnecessary but at the same time sometimes we are in the community sometimes mm -hmm. i can go a whole month with not seeing anybody i mean it really just depends yeah plus you guys work with youth so yeah yeah, so, yeah. okay okay what do you say so we should open this meeting yeah go for it <laughs> okay so um the, the meeting is convened um and uh we want to do roll call um, do you sure. do that, Danielle, or do you want me yeah. to do that? Yeah. Um, I, yes, I do. So, uh, we have all subcommittee members present except for member Divine and member Okanya. And we know they're both unable to come or just one? Just member Okanya. I didn't okay. hear from member Divine. We'll um, although I hear my, oh, sorry. I was checking my email. She doesn't look like she has said anything. Okay. Um, so uh, we have our agenda. Do I need to share it or it, everybody has a copy or just can follow along? It's not complicated. Um, so I do want to call any public comments. There are no hands raised for public. And we have no participants. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, host. <laughs> I am a little uh, unprepared. Okay. It's okay. Uh, so we are going to new business. 
and um, we go right to our review and discussion of the Civic 101 videos topic list. So does everybody have a copy of the list or shall I share that? You have a copy, Every who, if you do, just do a thumbs up if you don't wanna turn your sound on. I'll give you a I've second. A copy. Great. All right. Vince, are we, are you're good to go. Member Harper. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> or do you want me to take this over? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. All right. I'm actually, I mean, but I'm sending you guys something here really quick. Um, so you have your list, which we'll go through, but we also got a public comment emailed to us, which I was really excited about. Um, and so I'm sending that over right now um, so that everyone can have it while I read it to you. Um, let me just make sure one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna send it to you guys right now. Uh -huh. So we'll do this first. Um, so we received, so you guys should be getting it right now. Um, we received an email from the Cherry Street, Greater Cherry Street Neighborhood Association on this topic. Um, uh, they wanted, uh, they wanted to submit their ideas for um, for topics for both the uh, videos and also um, whatever spills over into the um, Civic Engagement Academy. Um, and so their email or their list includes participatory budgeting, parking department overview, um, how to contest a citation, residential parking permit safety suggestions for structures, downtown parking district. What is out there Santa Rosa? What is BIA? I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, visit Santa Rosa, what is that? Um, business improvement area. Business improvement area, thank you. Um, public initiatives process. What is a city charter? Overview of public banking. Uh, what does it mean to be a Tree City USA? Public art overview. What is a historic district? Police Department 101. Logging a complaint. Sister cities, who are they and how do we add more? TOT, what is it and how is it spent? Where does sales tax revenue come from? Home sharing, help others, help yourselves. Homeless services, an update, question mark. ADU, uh, slash J A D U primer, equity initiatives from the city D from the city, <laughs> and what are the differences between a weak and a strong? Uh, these are in quotes. A weak and a strong mayor. Why is Spanish used on some materials but not others? So that is the um, the list from that neighborhood association to take into consideration on this topic, um, and then. For those of you who did submit, um, for those of you who submitted your topic uh, topics for the list, uh, co-vice co chair Graves and member Harper, sorry, I'm like super <laughs> tired. <laughs> and um, apparently I can't speak this evening. Um, thank you both for submitting your topics. So from co-vice chair Graves, her topics include city of Santa Rosa history, basic information such as um, office addresses, hours, et cetera, and an organizational chart. City of Santa Rosa online resources. Um, so things like website, social media, alerts, apps, city connections, newsletter, all about city council, including districts and how to participate. And that, that includes um, how to contact, um, view meeting, comment at city or at meeting, submit a proclamation, etc., and then all about boards and commissions. And then member Harper sent a very nice long list. <laughs> um, so it includes what to expect from a city council, committee, board, or commission. What is the city council and what do they do? What is the role of the mayor and vice mayor? What is a board, committee, or commission? City finance basics, police basics, park planning basics, permit basics, community engagement basics, community advisory board basics, difference between city and county government, 
how to provide public comment, serving on boards, commissions, or committees, running for a city council 101, transportation or bus system, public works, fire department 101, where your water comes from, a virtual trip to the sewer system, <laughs> uh, tourism, dining, and shopping in Santa Rosa. Um, so again, those are um, subcommittee um, ideas. And then um, staff recommendations, we came up with a few. Uh, so what is civic engagement and why participate in your local government? Um, and how does this differ from community engagement and what is community engagement? How do I, how do I make a public records request? How do I find, or how to find council meeting agendas and posting requirements? Um, and because this is coming up, this might be a good idea um, for once the ordinance is adopted is the open government ordinance. What is it and why is it important? And what are the different sections of the ordinance? So now that I've thrown all of that information on you, <laughs> I'm turning it over to all of you for a discussion. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, uh, Vince. You're, you're muted. Uh, I, I didn't mean sewer system, Keith. water system. <laughs> you don't want to go traveling through the sewer system? <laughs> I've thought about it many times, however, no. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Keith? Um, yeah, so uh, months ago we worked on a list of stuff for the academy. Um, I guess yeah. uh, I, I didn't. I don't see that list here. I guess I assume that it would be transferred over, or or is it in here? Is it in the agenda? Is that what that is? Uh, um. So that topic list is what people sent me. I had sent everyone out um, the list that you're talking about, um, mm -hmm. uh, along with, I believe, the agenda, um, or not the agenda. I'm sorry. Along with the request for either adding to that or keeping those those topics and i didn't hear back from anybody on that list so okay totally I, I, fine with uh putting some of those items back in because yeah i i guess I, I might have misunderstood i might have skimmed it too quickly but i um because i gave all my uh ideas for uh, that process i thought that i didn't need to do it again um so yeah i mean, I'd, I'd probably want to uh, refer to that list and, and pull some stuff on that okay. yeah um, and I can, if anybody wants me to quickly go through that list, I can too. All right. Um, can we just hear other comments before we, we get bogged down on in a certain way? Yeah. Like overall comments and, um, anybody want to share their, those thoughts? Um. I can go that would be great yep yeah um so looking at all of this and and then the additional topics that the cherry street association and then eric frazier sent over um i think it might really behoove us to uh have the larger group talk about it and and decide what are some of the initial beginner um, topics? And then what are more intermediary or advanced or um, mm -hmm. secondary and tertiary topics? And then how some of these topics can be uh, subtopics to, to other items on here. Because some of them really relate very well. Um, okay. I feel like we would need potentially a little bit more uh, uh, participation to make that a robust discussion, um, not downplaying all of us right here, but um, just to, to make sure that we that we see it um, able to go forward in a really constructive way. And then um, I also think that sometimes like looking at it in this really broad way, are we starting to go into territories that maybe other departments within the city <laughs> would, would love for us to maybe not tread on their area and or <laughs> include them. Thank you. Yeah, I saw that thumbs up. Um, <laughs> so I, I feel I get a little hesitant about um, talking about like permit basics or 
parking, uh, because those topics start to talk about policy, and um, and they're pretty they're pretty heavily weighted, and they so they go really deep. And uh, one thing that we might want to keep in mind when we talk about what our goal is for the first three topics, let's say, and I'm just throwing that out there, um, is that we were, I think we were going to keep these pretty short, if I remember right, like 10 minutes or something. Um, uh, maybe, maybe I'm remembering that wrong. So, three minutes, is that what I'm seeing, Vince? Vince, three minutes? minutes? <laughs> Not 10. Yeah, we need Great. to keep them pretty short. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you can finish um, if you want, but um, I to break you up. So, so yeah, I just think keeping all of that in mind, these are all awesome uh, topics, but I, I don't, I don't want us to get lost in the, in the forest of so many topics and then them being so robust on top of it. Okay. Um, do you want to say anything, Member Shapiro? Um, no. It's a bit overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so overall, like my, what I think my first thought is it absolutely needs um, headings or themes and then sub themes like where um, member vice co Vice Chair Graves, <laughs> sorry, trying to be really formal now. Um, I think that, you know, when I looked at it, there's a perspective of um, like community, what community um, can do for themselves and what, you know, what we uh, can learn from government. There might be like two sides of a coin and I'm not sure I have it fully fleshed out yet, that idea. But, um, you know, we have a lot of community activists in our group and who have a lot to share about how community organizes and stuff like that. And then, um, then there's the whole interact, how do we interact with government thing that seems to be going on. And I agree with um, Keith, that member Robert, sorry, that... Um, there, we did do a lot of work and I, I also assumed we'd keep some of that stuff that we worked on before. Um, but I do think, it, yeah, and I do agree with um, that going to the larger group and trying to um, make some sense of it in different ways. And we could even float that ahead of time and have people show up with ideas of what would they, you know, the buckets they might put these things in. I don't know. I don't know the way to go right now, but my first thought is it is it needs some organizing first. So from a staff perspective, what we've been hearing in the listening sessions is people want to know how to participate at a city council meeting. They want to know more about boards and commissions. Um, they would like um, trying to think of some of the other stuff, like how to make a public comment, learning a little bit more about like one of the biggest concerns that came up over the summer, and I think people find, kind of get it now, but it still might be nice to have that, is if I'm making a public comment, why does the city council stay so silent? Why aren't they responding back to me right now? Mm -hmm. um, and then um, there are also there's also a lot of confusion that's coming out, that's being talked about, about like how a city creates a policy and why is it that like this, this thing is being worked on now? Like, I don't know, let's say for example, um, uh, one of the things that came up in public comment was um, over the summer, the city council was asked on a consent item to, to approve additional funds to put the, the logos on brand new police cars. Well, that was also at the time when people were asking, starting to ask for city council to defund the police. And so people were absolutely outraged when city council approved that, not understanding that was already part of the budget process. It was already in the budget. It, mm -hmm. it just had to be approved. So um, I, I think it's this, this committee needs to keep that feedback in mind also. So uh, I have a question then. All right, I'll yeah. let you go first. Um, Vince. I was going to say that, that also 
a question is, um, are we the audience and activists audience, audience or are other residents and citizens who are maybe less knowledgeable the audience for this? Particularly for these three. So remember that we have the bigger yeah. um, academy part, which is a lot more complex. But then because of COVID and everything that's going on, we decided to kind of cut back to these smaller snippets of what, what do they really need to know. And so we have to make a decision as who are who's our audience that we're trying to, to get to who mm, with this. If that. we're trying to stay over the head of most citizens you know, let's, let's gear it towards us and activists, or is there a happy medium between those two, um, those group, those groups that isn't so dumbed down that it, that it loses, Yeah. which are probably about activists anyway, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but also giving that basic um, um, information that, that, that uh, Danielle was just talking about. So, just got to keep that in mind. Yeah. Love that. Um, Danielle, is that, did we do our survey ever? No, it got, out? it got completely put on hold. Yeah, because I love that feedback from people in the community to hear what things they are interested in. Um, well, I would really encourage everybody if they haven't already to go read the listening session summaries. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of really great information out of there. Um, unfortunately, the final report we're working on is not going to be ready in time for this, but mm -hmm. it, it's going to have a lot of additional um, information, including we're transcribed or we already did transcribe public comments and now we're analyzing that information. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah. that's a, that's a topic in itself, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody could go around and ask people what, what do you want to ask from, you know, what do you want to learn about government? I yeah. don't know. And that could be a, a little three minute thing. Yeah. yeah. But, okay. So <laughs> I'm just adding to the topics. Um, you know, I, I do agree. You know, I think that with, if we're just picking topics based on what we're interested in, um, it, it can, it's going to be all over the place. And I don't know that that's so bad either. You know, it's like, who is the audience? We're all gonna be speaking to different types of people and everybody's, you know, part of the community. Mm -hmm. But if we're doing this hand in hand with an academy, that is kind of a different animal, if you will. I'm not really sure how you were thinking about it when you thought to make little videos about topics. Well, I have a suggestion. <laughs> Love to hear it. I think these topics that everyone, well, except for um, Leslie, because she just joined us, but that this group brainstormed a while ago um, or earlier this year, whenever it was, um, I think they fit in with what Co-Vice Graves and Member Harper submitted already, except for Member Harper mm -hmm. went above and beyond. <laughs> which I think was awesome. But um, I think the, that that's a good starting point, those videos. And then we use those topics in the academy. Like we could go broader with those topics, obviously, in the mm -hmm. academy too. But mm -hmm. then we could also take it further in the academy with some of the additional um, things that member Harper brought up, plus the additional items that the Greater Cherry Street neighborhood brought up too. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe we start with the list or maybe we take that list. So the expertise subcommittee is bringing the item to you guys um, next Wednesday to approve. So maybe we take that list to the bigger group to approve. Um, just an idea. Yeah, I love it as a starting off point and that's what I'm hearing you're mm -hmm. saying and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, no, yeah. yeah, and also I like the idea of allowing community members to make their own three minute video. I mean, yeah. we have all of those cameras, especially youth, Danny, and I'm looking at you uh. <laughs> um, because we have those cameras and Vince, you're, you know, the women that you work with, the men and women that you work with, young adults, um, they, we've got cameras to, to give out to lend as a loaning, you know, we were presented with that presentation. Um, 
do you remember that when they there was a woman they were talking about the channel that we have oh and they and they were trying to gear it towards youth more but i think we can maybe ask them for this project we can ask community members to make their own three minute videos let me double check and make sure that that still exists because she's not with the city anymore yeah wasn't okay. that like in the library that you ran out no, they I were trying to, yes, get it yeah. in the library. Yeah. It yeah. might not be around no more. Yeah. But they have the equipment, unless they've uh, donated it or given it away. I heard it was still out there. It's just not being used. Keith. Okay. For that purpose. Keith, did okay. you want to? purpose. Did, Keith, did you have something? Oh, sorry. My connection froze. Oh. Um, I have, un I have unstable connection. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can you hear us? Hello? Let me put it on the chat and, and maybe. Turn your camera off. <laughs> that might help. I think he froze again. Yeah, he okay. does. Yeah, you're right. Um, well, I will, I will go while he gets unfrozen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think that we're going to have to figure out how to tackle the lists that we have already. Mm -hmm. And there's keep back, but, um, and prioritize, um, and prioritize may be not the right word, but, uh, I have, what I'm hearing is that these smaller videos are a primer and, uh, to the larger Academy. And so, you know, if you take it at three minutes or four minutes each, then um, we don't want to overwhelm ourselves with having 20 topics to think that we're going to finish. So maybe, because I thought about this long and hard after our last subcommittee meeting in which we kind of were talking about like, well, our goal is maybe to get this done by the end of April. And it just really set, um, it was really hard for me to believe that it would take us that long to have something to show out of this. And so um, I would encourage us in my way of thinking to maybe look at the list and if we if we have to come up with 12 uh, primer topics that we could do into videos is to take the first three or take three of them and think of um, intermediary steps that we could get a few of them done at a time uh, so that they could be rolling while we're getting other ones done. So I'm just kind of trying to think of it as a organizational development way of thinking and instead of, you know, these kind of heady topics that we're getting into uh -huh. as far as um, what, how the city works. Because uh, I think that member Harper really hit it on the head, who is our audience? And with these, I think everyone our audience but that we have to remember that this is going to speak to those people that really need the basics. These are these are really basic um, information pieces about the city and how to interact with the city and how to be involved. And I, oh. Vince. And I wonder if there maybe there's, I think someone mentioned it in their um, when they were talking about it, is looking at maybe a, a tiered approach. So you have your very basic, and then maybe you have your intermediate, and you have your advanced. And I feel like we need to start the basics, and then we can. I mean, because there's there's certainly a group that is more engaged, um, including us and including um, organized neighborhoods that um, kind of uh, probably at a higher level that have very curious about things that, that are very complicated that, that people, um, if you if you jump over the basics, then you know you 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 tend to lose that group. And if you're trying to pull along the most um, the most potential uh, people that we can engage as a group, um, that they, they might get lost in that process of jumping ahead to talk about the, you know, the exact permit process and the BIA and the blah, 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. um, I already forgot what that did, but now I'm just, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Great. 
Keith. So um, when we were planning this for the Academy, we discussed the possibility of doing videos, doing um, sessions by department. Um, oh yeah. I still kind of like that idea. Um, mm -hmm. I think that could be a good starting point. I think we could make changes from there. Like, like all the internal and administrative departments, CMO, city attorney, HR, finance, they, those could be in one video maybe, but the large the large departments like water and um, uh, PED and uh, TPW, those ones could be their own video. And that would include, doing that would include pretty much all these topics here. Maybe there could be one for just for city council and boards, which would include a lot of community engagement topics and making public comments. Um, that being said, I also like Vince's idea of it being tiered, like maybe an intro one could give a very brief a very brief overview of everything. And then all the subsequent ones could be more specific about departments. So people can learn basics in the first video and then they want to dive into different departments, different topics, they could do that. I'm, I'm also partial to, um, so, it, I, I'm hearing that this is re like really about didactic, that this is really about teaching people something um, about government. And I, and maybe this is, you know, outside the purview, but I love the idea of community members trying to figure some of this stuff out too. And, or if they know about it, being able to make a, a video for themselves, um, for every for other members of the community, and clearly government stuff. You know, I think the departments would be able to come up with something kind of interesting um, if they had the time to do it. So I like that idea, um, and I do want to include community in it because I think if we want them to be interested. They, it's really to get them in it from the ground, from the very beginning. So the idea of these videos, what, what we'll do after developing the topic list is the members here plus staff will be assigned um, different topics to create scripts for, and then um, we'll, we'll move on to recording. The recording part is going to re definitely require community help mm -hmm. um yeah. and i've told our vistas also that to be ready to act in some of these videos as well which will be great because they're they're all young um so we nice to see them but i'm sure that we can get some other community members including youth involved um in the filming of this in a um <laughs> social ap appropriately social distanced mm -hmm. safe way <laughs> yeah because we also have to think about that but um uh, yes, definitely. I agree with you on, on that, that we need to have, um, aside from CAB members in these videos, other community members as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought the communications team was going to be doing the filming or are they just doing the editing or what was their role? No, more than likely it'll be staff that'll be filming. Um, and then we'll take all the footage that we have, including any B roll that we might have, and we'll give it to the communications team and they'll throw it together and make it look really nice. Cool. Yeah, that that's kind of the deal here <laughs> with them helping us out with that. We, we got to do all the filming. <laughs> so. So would it be useful for us to um, try to put things in buckets or do we just let the big group try to do that? You know, like um, put like topics together and see what they come up with as an organizing um, you know, I, I guess I'm asking you this, Leslie, because that was your thought is to have, take it back to the big group and ask them what uh, you can, um, fill me in, but I think you were saying, ask them what they think, um, about the topics and how they might go together or, um, what's most important, kind of a little bit of a priority thing. Yeah, I don't, I think in this, in this raw form, it might not be the best to go back to the large group just because that might um, really take over a whole meeting for a very long period of time. Um, input is good, but sometimes uh, a lengthy input could, could run us into some issues. Um, 
So it might be good for us to organize this a bit uh, first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Spence. <laughs> and uh, and then and then take it to the larger group so uh, they feel uh, that they have some input on you know if if there's anything awry kind of thing like that robust discussion around you know mm -hmm. so this you know that a topic could be too much or too little or um, get into a department issue or something like that. So um, yeah, I, I'm all for discussing it now and and making it to where we have, have something a little bit more concrete to take back. Okay, do you, are you guys referring to the list that I, I sent you, the topics list? Um, or so there's also the other list too that I sent out prior to asking you guys. Everything, or, I think. Yeah, so the one that Keith had mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. the one that this particular group put together last year. And I know, Leslie, I don't know if you were able to look at that. Um, I did see it, but I'm trying to find it right now. And okay. I, <laughs> I know I have your all your emails organized, so I'm trying to get there. <laughs> it seems like a lot to tackle right now. I mean, I'm happy to start it, get the ball rolling, maybe. Um, but we're going to need to see it, right? And then I guess we could just have the list. I'd have, I mean, I don't know. It seems a little clunky to do in this setting. I'm happy to work on it with somebody else outside of um, yeah, the issue is, is Magali really wants to get this moving, like, sooner rather than later. She actually, she had this, like, really amazing idea of having this done already. <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's not going to happen. Um, having, what, the topics all sorted, you mean? All figured out? She wants out. to get the videos rolling and get, get those created. So um, she wants to see a topic list presented at the next CAB meeting. I can, I'm happy to work on it on Saturday. If somebody is willing to, um, to has the time, but I mean, we can start it now. I don't think we're going to finish, but we could, you know, and I, we, we do have a deadline. I like having deadlines. Yeah. So if we have the deadline of, um, the cab meeting and, you know, we, we put it together by next Friday, maybe. Um, is that it, next you were Friday, thinking? Uh, the next cab meeting is next Wednesday. Oh, it's we're already in the third week. Yeah, it's it's a special meeting because because uh, of Thanksgiving. Because of yeah. Thanksgiving, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So how about uh, if we had it together by? Oh, well, you tell me. I certainly would give myself a few days. <laughs> you know, like I'd work on it Saturday happily. I, I think I just jump in. I don't know, Danielle. Yeah. Daniel and uh, uh, okay. You know, right. I think we might be just creating our own um, stumbling blocks right now. And yeah, I, I get. I get it. It's it's harder to work. In this oh, way. I gotta find my other list. <laughs> so yeah, it's hard to get to that. work this way, but that's okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, if yeah, if everybody's game, I'll look for my other list. Can, can we just put a, a word document on the on the screen and start yeah. putting stuff into the these the other documents into the buckets? Yes. Um, let me. That. Am I re re just want to? Uh, am I remembering correctly? Um, is this the document that was sent to us on October twentieth? Yeah, engagement academy. If you if you guys look at that, that is a very loose and clunky list. It's not. I mean, it, it's it's very interesting the way we did it, but I don't think it's. Yeah, you, know, you guys think it is. It's not. Yeah. Hold on, I'm not. Actually, <laughs> I think um, we, were, we were rambling throughout this uh, this discussion, so I think it might be something very different. Than what you think um, it is. Madeline, can I share my screen, please? Let me give you permissions. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm sorry, I, I haven't even been able to find that list in it sure. for 20th, you said, but now yeah. I can see what you guys have. It's part of the Thank overall you. survey. Thank yeah. You. Yes. Can you share your screen? 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, cool. Can everyone see that? Oh, okay. oh yeah, this was the, um, yeah. So this is what came out of the survey. Um, and it, it's, so that's part of it. And let me just double check and make sure that was it. Hold on, pull up one more thing here. Um, so the other stuff in the survey was just kind of like broader, like, um, you know, the, the common components of an engagement program. Um, and then what is your experience in city government? And then the rest was this, um, this list here. So I'm going back here. Okay. So those look like themes to me. Well, they're similar to the other list the mm -hmm. topics list mm -hmm. so here's the the topics list can you guys see the new one that i just put up no oh no okay um hang on i'm figuring this out i think you have to stop share and then do it and then one. do it again yeah well that's a bummer <laughs> i mean you could <laughs> put them side by side i, I can i'm on a i'm on a laptop right now so okay. yeah um Maybe it's this one. Okay, here we go. So this is what was submitted. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I know what I can do mm -hmm. um, is I'm just gonna copy and paste this into mm -hmm. this document here. And then, okay. That way it's all in one document. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Give me a moment because apparently Apparently this is being stubborn. Okay. Okay, there we go. So oh. this is the original list right here. Uh, based, I think these were based off of the objectives that we wanted to make sure everyone learned um, in the academy. Um, so very high level. And then I think they're still reflected in the um, in the list up here started by co vice Graves and member Harper. I just think that some of these just um, get a little bit more detailed. Um, so I don't know, where would you like me to start? It, maybe just putting everything with that mentioned city council together that mentioned the board together. Okay. I'm just gonna do it right here. So city council. Okay. And then, well, okay. There's yep. that. Ooh. There we go. Uh, and you know, call out and see if um, see if I miss anything. I'm gonna try to. Well, get the, get the ones you told us that from the listening sessions, um, how to interact is that already up there? How to interact with city council in city council meetings? Um, Hang on, I'm just I'm pulling all of these together. So here's another another bunch, and then. Yeah how to interact with city council. I think it's up here in contact. So like here's contact, um, but I can actually, hold on. I'll, I'll actually spell it out here. Mm -hmm. um, how do I interact? We'll say with my district council member, now that we have a full district. Mm -hmm. we'll but also I heard at meetings in particular, giving, uh, you know, how do you present or speak at a city council meeting? Something, I think you said that it, it, as part of the listening sessions. I think that's the one about that. It is. Yeah. How, uh, how to engage with my council right here. I oh, okay. Yes, 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 yeah. I knew it was there somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think... 
Okay, that was it for council. There's one right here. I didn't find council meeting agendas. Oh, thank you. Oh, right there. Okay. What was that one? There was uh, right here, how to find um, council meeting agendas and posting requirements. There we go. I don't know why that didn't bullet. Okay, there we go. Um, so that was it for council, I believe. Um, yeah. Okay, what would be the next category then? Wait, would um, how are policies created? It wasn't that one of the listening session things that kind of overlaps with city council because it may start at city council. Um, it could also but, start though with city staff. And it, it, city staff certainly um, carries it out, right? But yeah. Maybe our next, or, well, I, I, I want to- Just trying to include what, what, yeah, what was said. Yeah. Maybe a, a topic could be um, city staff, but uh, I, I am already starting to get the feeling that um, city council and city staff uh, topics are are pretty in depth topics compared to what a primer video would be. Um, See, because the, these two right here could be both under city city staff and city council, as well as the city yeah. budget, <laughs> right? Yeah. Although, and that's an interesting thing. It's how does that start? You know, yeah. and then. Um, but I, I just want to be inclusive. Like I, right. this is just stuff we heard because this yeah. is way too much detail, right? In what videos are going to be made. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Um, okay. Is there a, um, a opportunity with the, you know, do a finance slash budget or something like that um, as a category? Because I know when, um, I know when we've had those presentations um, at the cab, they, they've been very popular and interesting. Yeah. In my, in my eyes and looking at everybody else. Because everybody wants to know where does the money come from? Mm -hmm. yep. you know, how, do, how do they decide where it needs to go? Or blah, blah, blah. Love that. Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying blah, blah, blah so much, but I guess it's like <laughs> word for tonight. No, but, I think uh, that that's a good, a good point. Mm -hmm. um, because there's also, a, in addition to the questions about, um, you know, city finances and, and whatnot, it's, there's also, is, you know, when there's a project that happens like Courthouse Square, uh, people automatically assume the city chose building Courthouse Square over homeless services, right? And there's a difference yes. in there between like the different pots of money that the city yes. has and how they can use it. Um, so that's a very good. Yeah, so who determines budget? Like who creates the budget? Yeah, that's a really good. Yep. Thorny uh -huh. issue. Yeah. So finance and budget could be its own category. There's, um, there's a lot of lines about um, boards, committees, commissions. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it would be its own video, but it can at least be condensed into. Um, that's a good point. Okay. So if we're building out the um, academy, <laughs> and not really the videos, um, but the videos, maybe if we look at these, will be, um, and we take and we really look at the videos as a primer. That all of this information, like not all of it, but what would we say about these topics as a primer? instead of all of those details, you know? Yeah. Um, but I, I'm, yeah. I'm jazzed that little, little all down. the academy is getting built. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's just the academy, though, that's getting built here, although it's not a bad idea to hold on to that idea that we're going to have an academy. But anybody can look at this and say, here's the topic I want to do, or here's what I think might be really interesting to start with. Um, the the cab the cab item underneath boards. There's a, a line a line just about cab. Oh, uh, down here. Yeah, oh, cab right. can do 
That's a good one. Maybe we want to take one thing from every bucket. I don't know. You know, it's uh, yeah. it's hard to. That, that's five. That's five lines, but it'll probably. I mean, they're they're pretty much just two two different topics in that whole board's mm -hmm. five thing. What about um? Let's see. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what about? I see two additional buckets here, possibly. One is um, a city organization or local government organization, uh -huh. um, which I actually think is important because again, that's another thing that has come out of. Um, I'll just put. I'll just say local government organization. Um, I think. Go ahead. I think public safety could be its own bucket because I see mm -hmm. a few different. Um, I see. I yeah. Think like three different lines about police fire yeah um uh, can, you, uh, can you explain that local government organization does that mean yeah how it's organized like the org, org chart or what does that yeah, mean? yeah like an org chart so and the reason why i say local government organization is i think that we'll need to break it down into a city um like what's the difference between city and county because yeah. that is a huge one that keeps coming up Mm. Um, in these listening sessions, particularly um, when we talk about um, law enforcement um, and who makes policy and who makes decisions, mm -hmm. uh, there's, uh, I, yeah, there's a lot of um, confusion around like why the mm -hmm. city did this or the county did this and it's actually, you know, the city didn't do this, the county actually did it, um, mm -hmm. if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Uh, and not just with public safety, I would say that's also with homelessness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is with, um, you know, the difference between a city council and a board of supervisors. Um, and uh, well, maybe we go. I, I really, I think it really is kind of like the city of Santa Rosa. Like you're introducing people to the city of Santa Rosa. Because we also, have to remember that not all cities are run the same. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, and even if you're moving from yeah. a city or a town in Sonoma County or outside of Sonoma County and you come to Santa Rosa, it's very different. And when you talk to people, they don't, um, they don't always know they're, they're, if they're new here um, or even relatively new, like, you know, five years in, they, they don't understand, don't elect a mayor. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, simple, you know, simple things that I think that we kind of grow accustomed to, um, even if we don't know the exact reason. <laughs> right. Um. I also um, want to note that you want to comment the three governmental um, bodies that people mistake in are um, around education, um, the county and the city. So we mm -hmm. often get a lot of, you know, questions about, you know, if we have somebody from the city, a mayor or someone else, and, and they're asking, and our residents would be asking about um, school board stuff or, you know, yeah. superintendent stuff. And it's like, okay, we still need to work on this. Yeah. Actually, so it is confusing, you know, these different bodies. So I'll make sure we include that. And I think um, neighborhood organizations is a topic. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Itself is a topic um, because people, um, you get the historic neighborhoods, which aren't always a neighborhood organization, by the way. That's right. <laughs> people just assume that it is. I live in one. Uh, I do too. And, <laughs> and, um, and then you get really strong organizations in neighborhoods that aren't listed on the city website as, uh, you know, um, as an area, let's say, or I guess geographically, they're not, they're not as prominent. Um, I guess right now I'm thinking of just to bring up this topic, which doesn't necessarily need to be solved in this moment, but there's a lot of talk right now about Moreland and yeah. how that fits in and why it wasn't, why residents on Moreland weren't able to vote for a district one city council member. 
um, and that it is that it hasn't been incorporated into the city. So there's all there's all these kinds of you know discussions. There's the history of different neighborhoods like South Park, um, and then there is you know neighborhoods that came about because of uh, or not really came about, but they they rose to prominence in their organization, like Coffee Park. Um, because of recent disasters. Yeah. yeah. I, don't remember, I don't remember 10 years ago Coffee Park being as uh -huh. know, organized. That's right. right. <laughs> so. And that's how it happens, right? Stuff emerges. Yeah. Um, I just want to point out that, uh, that, that you reminded me, Leslie, of like SRT is really um, looking at getting serious about organizing neighborhoods and really um, putting a lot of our attention into that. And I think if we maybe work with other um, partners with other groups, like we might be able to dovetail some of the, um, the academy stuff. And um, so that's just an idea that we're working on, but um, I do think that the stuff that different neighborhoods are doing could be really um, important to how we talk about civic engagement and how we look at, um, like, how does it happen? Like organizing in neighborhoods or organizing associations, that's all done by people mostly that live there. And there's a lot to be learned from what people do and we don't really talk about it in civic en civic engagement because um, when you organize, right, people know more about government because we start interacting. Anyway, that's all I'll say. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I finished. <laughs> Yay. All right, we have um, time I, check. I was watching all minutes. of that. was quite skilled right there. That was pretty cool. <laughs> and did you include the Cherry Street stuff? Also, I haven't included any of that yet. Yeah, no. so we those are probably subtopics that'll fit in there. Yeah. So we'll we just yeah we have to represent that. I think. Oh yeah, definitely. What I can do is I can add those in um, yeah. to these lists. Um, okay. <laughs> now that I did that, we need to open this back up. Here we go. There you are. Um, all right. So time check. We've technically got one minute left, um, unless people can stay a little longer. So what yeah, do you guys want to do now with this list, I guess, is the question. I think we need to condense it. I, I don't think we can present this to the board the way it is. I think we need to condense it. I don't know if that's something you'd want to do if we should do it now, but um, like there's some that are the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Well, this is a repeat because I think this is already down there. Um, about, so these two are the same. What to expect from the city council? What is the city council? And yeah, what do you do? those two for sure. I it's can't really about. see it, so I'm, you know, I feel like I'm straining my eyes to do it. But um, I'm happy to take a look at it after you guys do this. Okay, I just can't see. Two about running or becoming a city council. Yeah. So let's see. We'll get rid of that one because that's a duplicate. How about I want to learn about the city council? Isn't that kind yep. of? Yeah. Yep. That's good. And so these two are kind of the same too, aren't they? Like I want to learn how to engage with. Yeah, I want to engage with and interact with. You can combine them. You yeah, say, interacting with your, your council member and the whole council. Yeah, with this the whole city council. Yeah, sorry, I've been seeing screens all day too. So much. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was right, like seeing double. Part. Okay. Um, how do I find um, council, council meeting agendas? Um, actually, and I'm going to say, what are the posting requirements? Um, how to provide public comment. Um, I can get rid of this open government one for now, too. It, it's just, um, yeah, 
that gets really really down into the weeds mm -hmm. okay yeah um okay so looking at this list here for city council um, um so do we want to so uh i was before i mentioned we could possibly do videos for each department and i'm fine if we don't do that but do yeah. we want to throw in um, like city attorney and HR and city manager's office in with the finance budget just to cover those departments since there's been there's nothing else with those departments. Um, let us put in <laughs> finance needs to be all by itself, I think. Finance. Because <laughs> I think it's I, I think it's it's a big complicated yeah. topic. <laughs> So, so I will say yes, city will manager that there oh. is a um, that that we don't have to try to tackle everything yeah. in this and that we're going to grow this and I think of things like the city attorney as something that is is just so much higher level and also it's probably good to ask the city attorney if we can talk about the city attorney <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you guys right now that the city attorney and I share the same birthday. <laughs> well, that's all we'll say about Put that down. <laughs> um, I, um, I just want to say that the city manager has such a, a big role in finance budget that, um, and I think that really hardly anybody understands what a city manager does. Exactly. And I think that actually if we're going to talk about the city manager and what the city manager does, it shouldn't be in finance or budget. It That should be kept completely separate because the city manager does so much more than just that. Oh yeah. No, yeah. I agree. Yeah. If there's, if there's like a beginning video, then maybe it can be touched on there. Just talk yeah. about the, for, the form of government. Well, how about here? Structure. Look, yeah. Including. Yeah. Whoops. I think the organizational chart will really, um, to Keith's point, Mm -hmm. a, a, a bit about each, you know, how each department lays out and is connected to each other, which has really changed. I mean, even someone who was very involved and yeah. knowledgeable about the city five years ago, mm -hmm. it has it has grown and it has changed. And there's been lots of reorganization that's happened, what, now two times in the last five years, um, if I can remember right. So that that organizational chart is going to be a great yeah. primer in and of itself. Um, let's see. Let me go through real quick. Um, so I'm going to take out all about boards, <laughs> all about city boards and commissions just because it's so broad. It, it's a repeat. It's a repeat. It is. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of a repeat. I like this. Um, what about this one? Is that different from what three is a board? Are, two and three are the same about how to serve. Oh, okay. About how to serve. So these two three. these two are the same as the first one, you mean? Um, no, I was saying two and three are, the, are pretty much Oh, two and three same. are the same. Okay. Yes. Okay. And, that serving on boards, committees, and commissions were kind of what we did with our little flyer that we were going to take to, a yeah, board, you know, um, yeah. So it could be like a subtopic of what a board and committee and commission is. Yeah. So. Okay. Um. Cool. So I'm moving on. Having fun. Yeah, I know. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's a nice background. Um. So we've got City of Santa Rosa um, and local government organization. Um, I think this is actually like, there's no duplicates in here <laughs> in this one. Unless anybody sees something. Um, okay, under under public safety, I added two. I added the CCAT, although they may want to do their own video for the police department may want to do their own video. CCAT is going to be the new chief's community ambassador team. Um, 
they're going to be kind of like the cab, except for it's very, very specific to SRPD. Mm -hmm. Um, and it'll be run a little bit different. It's not a Brown acted group, et cetera. So more more to come on that. Um, and they may want to do their own video for that, but I just, I put it there just in case. And then, um, what is the difference between SRP and the sheriff? That is like, the, yeah, for public safety, that's the number one we keep hearing in the listening <laughs> sessions. It's mm-hmm. like, everyone just has like, it's just so confusing, mm-hmm. you know? So, um, I just added that in there just in case. And you know what, maybe they want to do their own. That's fine. Um, we'll let them do their own, but just in case we'll leave it there. Um, I created this category community engagement and advocacy. Um, so this is things like, I want to learn how to influence change in the community. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to learn how to become a community leader. I want to learn how to make my neighborhood healthier and safer, which actually I'm going to do this. Hold on. That's a neighborhood one, right? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, what is civic engagement? What is community engagement, et cetera? And then community, well, community engagement basics, that's covered up there. So, um, neighborhood organization. Um, how do I start a neighborhood, historical neighborhood associations, and other neighborhood groups? And I'm going to learn how to make my neighborhood safer, healthier, and safer. Um, under neighborhood organizations, we might want to include our um, most known grants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that? What's the oh, improvement? Oh, oh that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I made a category, and this is like subcategory of city services and processes for, you know, everything else. Um, <laughs> so those are some of those are some pretty big topics mm-hmm. I'm, I'm wondering if that could be split up um and, and i was also noticing that um we don't mention like any of the the housing or homelessness programs code enforcement yeah. stuff like that i was wondering maybe if we could b- break it up into like all the housing permitting code enforcement homelessness stuff and then like the infrastructure and um parks permit uh parks uh uh water public uh this is public works i don't yeah. know i'm just trying to think of a way to split it up and and also cover the, the big programs oops so we'll say city so then we go whoops I'm having such an issue right now um so it would be like Well, and you you still don't have the sewage system that um, Vince wanted in there. It's right here. <laughs> don't make fun of me, okay? I actually, I was sorry you said take it off. I know. <laughs> I no, I I was talking about the treatment plan. I don't know. Is that I, yeah, I, yes, that's a great I, idea. I like to. I want to say the treatment plan, not the sewer. Um, <laughs> it's the same thing. Isn't I'm picturing it? myself. Oh no, the water treat. treatment. Got it. I don't know. Uh, economic development could include uh, the arts program if you want. Oh, yeah. to. And that. Uh, um, actually, it's sorry. Public arts program. Yes. Uh, and actually, it's going to include the city banner program which might maybe might include i'm not sure yet i have to find out um another one that you know i hear a lot um is how you, and right now it wouldn't apply but it will in the future is how to get uh to create an event and oh state. Ooh, you just Events gave me under economic development yeah yeah, so um, everybody always wants to know the how tos of that because it's a little, it's a little amorphous on online, like parks versus courthouse square, 
versus your streets versus actually if you take a look at the neighbor fest uh toolkit that's for block parties but you can take it a step above and make it um we have all the information there um you would just have it to have to add wow. in all of those other pieces for like a larger scale event so but like the 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 baseline is already there yeah. is what i'm trying to say yeah. um but you reminded me of something what is that it's called community promotions grant program. Uh, that program i'd like to see the general plan also um in that economic development um they're the ones running it and it's, it's all that's about, planning yeah that's planning um isn't that the same department it's the same planning department, and economic development okay. they're, they're different divisions so okay yeah uh if i mean but you, could, you know what you could, you could throw stuff into the the same bucket you could throw planning i feel like you could throw planning and housing and permitting yeah. together you know what though I'm nervous about putting that on there. I'll put it there. Um, I would put, I would put permit permitting, permitting in that section. Yeah, also. that's a good idea. Yeah. Even though it's, yeah, I wouldn't put it in infrastructure. Even though there's obviously a lot of permits. I just don't see us doing anything like video. I mean, maybe for community engagement or civic engagement academy. Yes, absolutely. But for videos, I just don't see us doing something like that. Um, well, it, it just happens that SRT is using that as a one of the starting off points for creating good, strong neighborhoods. Right, right. I'm just saying that that team has all the money for that project uh, when it comes to developing stuff like this. I don't, I think their consultants might be doing something. They similar. are, they are. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... I wouldn't want to duplicate efforts is what I'm saying. And that's why I want to include it as, you know, it's a way that we are going to determine what we want our city to be and how we are going, how policies are going to be right. um, created. And I, it's just, yeah, I, I like it because it's about getting people engaged in it too. What I'm hearing Danielle say right. is that there is a consultant group that the city has engaged with and they are creating oh video. create the video yeah, got yeah, it yeah, I, yeah. I totally agree yes 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 yeah. yes, yes. Members for academy that makes sense yeah and, and obviously this totally agree they are making one i forgot yeah. that they were actually making a video but i'll leave it on here yeah the academy Just as purposes. srp uh, you know srpd is on there you know yeah. the other ones so okay I want us no. to remember, though, if the, leaving those kinds of things on there and us bringing it back to the full cab next week on Wednesday can really open up a huge can of worms, too. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I don't know, you know, uh, and so I, I would really love for us to think about this, like, what do we want to present next Wednesday that yeah. we are going to be able to say... Um, to the rest of the cab, this is our starting point. Not necessarily this is the totality of all of what these videos are going to be or all of what the academy is going to be, but this is um, something that we could start with and get accomplished and look at for that end of April goal or maybe even sooner. That, so that we can idea. start yeah, we can start by crossing off, like putting a line through the ones that um, like the police, like the general plan update, the ones that we know um, we need to ask the other group if they want, if they're making their own or they want to do their own. Or they can be second tier um, videos because we can't go ahead and say, make a video about the SRPD when we haven't even asked them. So let's say, let's do low hanging fruit is, you know, um, primers of, a you know, the low hanging fruit. Here too, because <laughs> these are all departments. <laughs> we can't really, so let's, um, let's stick with this one right here. 
Can we put the um, how to uh, request a PRA in another bucket? We can, yeah, the open government one. Um, I mean, we wouldn't want to do a video just about that, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Do you want me to to move it up to the the if we're calling this like tier two or parking um, lot stuff? <laughs> Like can this, we, here, yeah, this we can move up. Can we fit it in one of the other buckets? What are the, what are the other buckets that, that could fit in? Oh, um, can, that, that could fit under community engagement, right? I mean, are you? We, I'm sorry uh, for Roberts, but um, I don't know if we're going to lose our quorum that uh, Member Shapiro was just trying to say goodbye. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Well, we're fine. Sorry about that. Right? Okay. I didn't want Thank to leave you. without messing everything up. I, I just have to get to somewhere. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think right. we we need Thank to you. wrap it up anyway. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Danny. Yeah. Sorry. We should. No, I I, I just want to um, really quick. Yes, Keith, uh, public records. I think that's important, actually. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What if we put it under City of Santa Rosa? Th that's what I would say, local government. Oh, that's, that's I want to learn about stuff. Yeah. I think it goes there. I could. I think it could fit there, or community, the community engagement. Um, or, and then also, I might want to throw. You might want to throw recreation under the community services heading. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess I'll put it right here. Um, and then recreation under here, under these guys. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, I guess community services. Uh, covers yeah, that. actually, that's. Oops. Well, yeah. Let's put it under community services. Okay. I mean, yeah, we can change it later. Okay, so I need to go as well. Yeah. So I okay. would like to make a suggestion that we all get um, a copy of this before it goes out on Wednesday, you know, gets onto the thing on Tuesday. Or, oh, you've already sent out a. An agenda, right? I posted the agenda. However, mm -hmm. I'm waiting for um, it's final. Um, there's the links to the new stories that we'll be sharing. Um, those probably won't be ready until Monday, so we'll have to wait. You guys will get that on Monday, but um, but can we add working with the uh, cab because the agenda is already created? I can revise the agenda. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I want to uh, negotiate for getting this before you revise it. So yeah. um, just to get a look over, because I do need to go and I, I'm i happy if you guys continue to work on it, um, but I would like sure. to um, be you, able to- Yeah, I'll send it, it out um, after the meeting is over. The one thing that I do ask though, is in order to meet the 72 hour before Please send it to me no later than Saturday. Yes, I will be working this weekend. <laughs> I, I will be too. So, um, okay. Yeah. So send it to me by Saturday so I can get it posted on Sunday. Saturday, what time? End of the day is fine. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, is everyone, I know Cecilia, you have to go. What about everybody else? Do you still want to work on it or do you want to just take it and um and whittle it down more on your own and then send it to me i'm thinking that maybe we could figure out the three topics that we would okay. want as first primers or i don't know how to say that right as yeah start okay. okay bye i'm happy to get it and i'll give you if as long as i can um weigh in yeah. But later. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay. Excuse me. Um. So you said, Leslie, that you want to get your get the three. Yeah, like, I'm, it it appears to me that there might be three um, headings that we could just say, you know, these are the three that we would present. Okay. Um, I don't know how everybody else is feeling, but it's it seems like it's kind of 
like migrating into organization on its own <laughs> yeah, yeah. With, your, with your cursor skills. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, Vince, did you have? Um, yeah, I'm fine. That's it. Can we can you keep scrolling down just a little bit? You know what? Are, can we move this down into the 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 other list, the services, city services list? Under community services? Yeah. Well, no, not community services. I just mean like oh, the second yeah, tier. Or? The second tier, yeah. 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 Okay. Because it fits with all of the other. Um, yeah, more defined city services. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Tier two is very meaty. It is. It's, and it's, I really feel like tier two fits into the academy and like when you talk about like different um, departments, you know, each session or whatever. Um, tier two feels like there would be people from those departments wanting to be in that video. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I expected. Um, yeah, I, I expected to be working with people from every department if we even mention them. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so then we have, here's the buckets then. City Council, Finance but, or Budget, uh, Boards, Commission, Committees, Commissions, uh, City of Santa Rosa, sorry, City of Santa Rosa, <laughs> uh, Community Engagement and Advocacy, and then Neighborhood Organizations. So we have six. Yeah. And remember, this doesn't have to be like, end all like we could start with three and then move on to the next three after we're done so this is just a starting point do you does anyone think that we could combine uh community engagement and neighborhoods i feel like, like you can <laughs> yeah 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 definitely because actually we have um things like how do I start a neighborhood group or a neighborhood association? We have those resources on community engagement's webpage. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, being community engagement could just be involvement with your neighborhood. It doesn't necessarily need to be with the government. So yeah, I think, exactly. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good, good mix. Okay, cool. Um, is finance something that also is tier two? Vince is going to argue. <laughs> I know. Um, that's a that's a good question, actually. Um, no, I was thinking of it. Maybe maybe it is better, and and it might be better coming from them anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'd be okay with that. See, I'm not complaining. Finance <laughs> as a um, as a topic makes me think of uh, Schoolhouse Rock. Like a schoolhouse rock video for it, you know, <laughs> with really cool graphics and pie charts. That's the one that did uh, a bill, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But when, I mean, because it could get so um, so hard to yeah. have someone talk about finance uh, that it, it would be great if it was this animation. Yeah. Cool. We're down to four topic areas now. That's pretty good. So what do you guys think about the four topic areas? Can we, um, just a thought, can we lump boards and commissions into city council? I mean, we could. Yeah. I guess no, it's down I, three. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that was actually my um, original intention is to have council and boards. Yeah. Cause yeah, definitely. Can stay a point and yeah. yeah. I, I think it also leads to you know how to run for city council or how it you know, does like yeah. it's a fair step potential yeah. for some people. Good yeah. job, guys. Look at that. Some of, the, some of the subcommittees are committees of the board of of the council. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's good. Woo! We did it. <laughs> I would. I would just say maybe put the city of Santa Rosa and local government organization as like if we wanted to and so that you know when we present it to the rest of the cab that that might be like 
first of the first year um, and then uh, city council and then community engagement or vice versa. I don't know. Um, but if you just jump, like if, if we put on the piece of paper city council first, I could just see people trying to reorganizing it in their head, oh, yeah. you know? So maybe two, so two could should either be renamed city council slash boards um, or or maybe like um, what's the a word to to cover um, uh, not legislation but um, government know. leadership or something I'm not sure how to how to describe it city that leadership? encompasses all that sir. Uh. Not city leadership, because city leadership is also the department heads yeah. too. So um, maybe just city council on boards or something. I don't know. Elected, how about elected and appointed positions? City oh. elected and appointed <laughs> appointed positions. Oh wait. Is that is that what you're trying to say, Keith? Is that or uh, I was going in a different direction, but I'm fine with that. Or it could be, oops. Um, uh, so the other suggestion was city council and boards. I, I I think that sums it up better because it's not necessarily about the position, but, but their role. Oh, well, it covers them. Yeah, city council and boards. Um, and boards, yeah, I guess so. That's, that's yeah. good for now. Okay. Um, actually, and I'm going to say and advocacy. Um, that's pretty darn good. Yeah. yeah. I agree. All right, yeah. Okay. Um, so actually, I have a quick suggestion before we sign off here, before we finish. So even though the community advisory board fits under here, we mentioned community improvement grant program down here. So, I mean, I, and, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, um, I mean, CAB does kind of overlap. So, yeah. I mean, it, it, it does, we can mention it in, in two videos. I don't think we need to put it in one yeah. or the other. Um, yeah, maybe put CAB slash um, CIG. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Would you would you um, mind removing all the I want to learn? No. Um, yeah. The simple just to simplify the language for when you present it to the board. Yeah. Yes. So I'll do that on. Yeah. I will. I'll do that. You don't have to stay here and watch me do it. Okay. Um, and I'll send it out to you guys for one final look through. <laughs> And send it to Cecile also because she wants to see it. Um, okay. Yeah, less words I think will help. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, anything else? I want us to look at the Cherry Street list and yes, that's right. Put it in um, or completely leave it out and then include it in later. I'm just I just know that since that was presented, that is that. How do we want to address that? Well, what I will do is I will look and see because a lot of what he suggested already is already in here and what is not will most likely go down into the service areas anyway. Yeah. Um, and I'll add those to the different service areas so it's included. Um, but I like this stuff up here, it overlaps basically with what he wrote down or what he, he yeah. submitted. There's like four four lines that involve tourism, like four lines that involve yeah. housing. So, so, yeah, most of it's covered, and then some of yeah. them, some of them are are probably too narrow to for us to want to include. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you guys for sticking around to do this. I'm glad. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else before we adjourn? I'm good. Okay. All right. Thank you. I will stop sharing and I will see you guys next Wednesday. You're giving us good chin right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you.